Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today to film my June favorites and I was having a really really hard time trying to film outside today and I don't know why this camera settings I was just playing with them moving the furniture everywhere so we're going to get through this basket of favorites and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next time I want to film outside because this was not working it's still dark I really had to overexpose it and reset the white balance and it's still just not right so anyway I have a couple fails and the rest are favorites I have a lot of favorites this month I will start with the L'Oreal Color Riche Lilac um, lip stuff that I got last year when this was in and the color is never lacking and I have this on my lips right now I really like it next is the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara which I have been using for about a week and a half now and I forgot how much I really liked using a clear mascara on my mas on my mascara on my eyebrows then I have the Physician's Formula Bronzer, and this is what it looks like. I have it on today, just a plain matte bronzer. Um, I don't even know if you can see that because this filming is shoddy. I've also been loving the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is just a highlight, and it looks like this. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. So pretty. You can see that. Gorgeous. The Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in Nude, which is hard to find, but it can be found here. Just gotta really hunt for it. Looks like this. It's just a nude eyeliner. I have it on my waterline today. It, I just can't find anything that really stays on my waterline. I also use this black L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner for my waterline only. If I try to use it on my um, upper lash line, it smudges. But it works really good for some reason in the waterline. I also have this little mini Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. I love this. I put it on every morning when I want to do my makeup, you know, after I get out of the shower, brush my teeth, whatever. I put this on. It's just this little baby Vaseline. I have a few brushes. I have this dupe for a MAC 187. It's a duo fiber brush that I use for blush. I love this for blush. I got this on eBay. I have the Bedellum Tools 953 that I got for my friend Deanna. It's also a duo fiber. I love this for highlight. This is my favorite highlight brush. Um, I recently got the e.l.f. powder brush because somebody had sent this to me when I ordered um, something. This was just a freebie. I love this for BB cream. I never thought I would like love this, but I do. And it's super, 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 super soft. I had bought one of these years ago and it's hard as a rock and I never used it. I hated it, so I must have got a dud. Then I have this three pack of brushes that I, sh I showed all these on my trip. And um, I love these. They are amazing. This pencil brush especially is my favorite. I don't have like a pencil brush, so that's awesome. The Jordana 12 to Hour Made to Last Liquid Eyeliner Pencil in Black Point is my favorite eyeliner. Why aren't you focusing? Sure, it was focusing like crazy and now it won't focus at all. Who knows? Anyway. There it is right beside this one is the Jordana and this one is the L'Oreal. I have the Balm in Stain Argyle Blush. I have this on today as well. Looks like this. It's so pretty. Look how bright that is. Gorgeous. Sorry, I don't think anything is focusing. It was focusing, then it's not. Lucky you can even see it the drama and trouble that I was going through to try to get this filmed. Then I have Grace My Face Mineral Makeup in Light Beige. This is a um, mineral makeup I had ordered off Etsy that I love. The hands down favorite setting powder without parabens, or at least the ones that I've tried. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream with SPF 50. This stuff is amazing. It has full coverage. Seriously, I have it on today. Like, totally full coverage. It's awesome. Love it. Then I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
Probably the best mascara I've ever used in my life. It has this crazy hourglass shaped brush and it just does amazing things to my lashes. I don't ever want to use another mascara again. Then I have three nail polishes. This one is not the right one. Whatever. Set that aside. <laughs> Orly in Beach Cruiser is a bright, hot pink. Gorgeous color. Doesn't need a white undercoat. It's just fantabulous. The Revlon Multicare Base and Top Coat is really, really nice too. It doesn't peel like a couple of the other ones that I've tried. Last but not least for my favorites is the Sally's Beauty Supply Bobby Pins. I have very fine hair and these bobby pins rock. And they're the tiny ones. And you get them in this little tin and it's amazing. Little travel case. I'm going to go back and get a couple more. So I have one to throw in my purse, one to leave here, one for work. Love them. And the two things I didn't like were the Michael Todd Citrus Cream Moisturizer and the Michael Todd Cranberry Anti- Ox. Hydrating Anti-Aging Toner. I hated these. Hated these. They broke me out. I don't know what's in them, but my face doesn't like it. So, yuck. Alright, that's everything for my June favorites. Sorry I was rushing. I was like all freaked out about not being able to film, which took me like an hour. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Hope you had a great June. Heading into July and the 4th of July. Um, I hope we have continue to have nice weather because we're just starting to get nice weather now. I've been working in the yard, getting a lot of yard work done, planting a garden, doing my flower beds, removing mulch and putting in stone. We've been super, super busy, so hoping to cook out on the grill this weekend. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.